Okay, how to repair a filler belt. We are going to use brake cleaner and tech 7, but anything similar is fine. First of all, take some compressed air, blow off the damaged area, keep it around an inch or two, it doesn't matter how wide, but I would make it wider than you would uh, need. Now take the brake cleaner or something similar, some kind of cleaner, spray it on the damaged area. Once you've done this, you dry it again with the compressed air, and if you find it's not clean enough, hit it again with the uh, brake cleaner and some air. So we'll dry off the area, and you can see it's nice and shiny now, so I will not need to clean it again. Make sure it's perfectly dry. Now take the Tech 7. Something else similar is fine, but Tech 7 is recommended. Now put a generous amount over the uh, damaged area. You can make a couple passes with it. Uh, just depends on how much you think. Once you've done a few, you'll know. Now you want this to look like uh, an old cut in your finger. So wet your finger, place it over the top. Don't press too hard. And then we're going to go and press down on the sides. So it's pressing into the mesh filter and it's going to bond on the sides, not in the middle. This is where the whole strength of this patch will come from, is pressing it in on the sides. You want it to be raised in the middle and then uh, the best thing is to leave it for eight hours to dry or whatever is recommended on your other silicone but you can run it straight away if you need must and the mud will, uh, the hot mud will uh, dry it for you. Now you can see here when we blow off this with the air you can see there's a damaged area split right beside the red part of the rubber this is uh, recommended not to fix uh, it's just you won't be able to fix this it'll just tear straight away so thanks for watching bye